everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizundu and today we are talking about Emco Beauty and they specialize, I would say specialize, in duping very well-known popular products. They have certain brands that they really fixate on like Charlotte Tilbury, a little bit of NARS, your more luxury brands that are sometimes often out of our pocket reach. So if you don't know much about Emco Beauty and that's why you're watching this video, they didn't always just dupe products. They had products that were inspired by, for example, their Extend Lash doesn't look like any other mascara. However, it is supposed to be a dupe for the Kevin Aquan Volume Mascara. So they always had that underlying inspired by theme, but their packaging wasn't literal. So this is the product that put them on the map in Australia. Uh, and is their best selling product. The Extend Lash is one of the most popular mascaras in Australia. So Enco Beauty really started that way. They used to be Model Co. Do you remember Model Co if you're Australian? But now they're Enco Beauty. They have since, since they started duping Charlotte Tilbury products, they started skyrocketing. So once they realized they had hit the nail on the head there, they kind of ran with it and now they've gone to the extreme version where their products, you can't tell if this is Charlotte Tilbury or Amco Beauty. So they've really gone to that next level of duping and copying not only formula but packaging. A lot of people think how can they legally get away with this. I read somewhere you only need to be 10% difference. I mean I'm sure it's a lot more complex than that but before you can get sued. So I think they ride that fine line maybe they're at 11 percent so that they don't get in trouble and they're obviously not getting in trouble because they've just launched in the usa i believe at kroger but then i just saw ali glines um linking her products to walmart is emco beauty at walmart if you're american can you tell me that because that's like huge like little australian brands they pretty much never make it to america because america's already got whatever it is that they've got we're not really that desirable over here but Nonetheless, let's get into it because Emco Beauty, I have worked with Emco Beauty multiple times. They've sent me a lot of these products. I've bought a lot of these products. I've reviewed a lot of these products already. I'll link down below the Emco videos I've already done if you want to see more in-depth reviews of products. Um, but here are all my favorite products that I think are just as good sometimes better than the original product that they're duping. Most of these I do have the original product that they have duped, but some of them I don't, but I still believe are of high, high quality. And in these instances, I, I sometimes I just like, Emco Beauty has done really good at duping formulas, not just packaging, but formulas as well. So let's get into those products. I have not mentioned the ones that I disagree with. There are others. There, are, I haven't tried every product on the market, but I have tried a good percentage of Emco Beauty products. So let's get into it. Everything on my face is Emco Beauty, as you'll see in the demos. <laughs> so the first product is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter or the Emco Beauty Flawless Glow. As we can see, they are looking exactly the same. So the Charlotte Tilbury, let's look at the main difference here. The main difference is the colors. So I have the shade number two from Charlotte Tilbury and I personally think this is the perfect shade for my skin tone. It gives me a nice glow and healthy glow, but it's not too dark, it's not too light, it's perfect. And then I got the shade 2.5 in Emco. So I just want to point out they're not exactly the same, so I don't have the shade 2. I bought 2.5 because I thought I had the 2.5 in the Charlotte, but I was wrong. However, so the shades are different, which I actually think is, a, is not a bad thing. Sometimes having something so exactly the same, it touches on inappropriate, like it touches a little bit on theft. And I don't like to use that word, but there is, you know, there's a lot of intellectual property involved with these products so i like it when a product is really similar but not a hundred percent the same in terms of formula i have tried a lot of these dupes for charlotte tilbury and i hand on my heart honestly think the closest dupe to the charlotte tilbury is the emco beauty i have the elf i have the maybelline um i haven't tried the new rimmel one just because i have so many um i've tried 
a few of them. What other ones are there? There's others. I have, yeah, the e.l.f. is the main one that I did not think was that similar. I felt it was more glittery. But the Emco Beauty has that beautiful shimmer. So this is Emco, and then this is Charlotte. So you can see the colors are different, but the actual formula, it's pretty spot on. It's kind of scary how spot on it is. Right, next we have L'Oreal True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum. This is like a tinted moisturizer or a tinted serum for people who have oily skin because it dries down. Oh, it's stunning. And then over here we have the Amco Beauty Miracle Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. So these are a dupe. They've even got the same little dropper. They both say 1% pure hyaluronic acid on it and the shade is 0.5 to 2 very light on both of them. The packaging is the same. All the wording, everything is the same. Even the color, if we look at the actual color here, very similar. I would say the Emco Beauty is ever so slightly pinker and then L'Oreal is ever so slightly more neutral. Uh, but I'll tell you what, once it's on the face, you really can't tell a difference. So these are super, 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 super similar. If I had to be super nitpicky, I would say the main difference, and it's not a better or a worse, they're both beautiful products, I would say this one dries down a little bit more. So for that, I really like this one because I have oily skin, but I still love this one. It's so similar. But I feel like this one just has a little bit more of a natural finish. And this one's more of a natural to dewy finish. That's the main difference there. Next is, I don't have the original, but the Emco Beauty Luminous Highlighter Pen is stunning. I have the shade number two. And this is a dupe for the YSL Touche Clat. It is light. It is just brightening. So it's not so much to give heavy coverage, but just to lighten and brighten the under eye area. So I have used this in the center of my face. And for me, this is enough coverage. I am someone that does love a full coverage concealer, but like today I've got light makeup on. I've got, you know, the tint on, and then this pairs perfectly with the tint because it's that brightening but not heavy heavy coverage just like the Touche Clat has um, so I think this is extremely similar it's a beautiful formula it's a very high quality formula and in my opinion it's very much a dupe and a very high quality dupe at that right next we have I don't have the original but the Emco Beauty contour ones uh, which is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury contour one so I have both shades I personally love the medium light to medium more. I was recommended the medium dark, so I bought the medium dark because it's more cooler toned, but I actually really like the light to medium. So these are really sheer and translucent and they blend really well, just like the Charlotte Tilbury one. So these have been on the market, the Emco Beauty ones have been on the market for a long time. It's one of the first products, along with the mascaras that got really popular with Emco Beauty and kind of catapulted them into this duping world. Really beautiful, easy to blend, super natural, and it's just perfect for all these lighter products that I have put on my face already because it's not heavily pigmented, which is what is so beautiful about this product and the Charlotte Tilbury product is it's really blendable, um, buildable, and easy to use. So this one, absolute gem, high, high quality, totally recommend it. Next we have the Soft Matte Blushes. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. And then I also have the Emco Beauty Soft Matte Beauty Wand in Cosmopolitan Blush. And sorry, the, the Charlotte Tilbury shade is Pink Pop. So they, in packaging, are identical. If I turned them over, you wouldn't know the difference. But the tones are slightly different. So the formula is really similar to, it's what I'm wearing today. So... I'm going to show you on my hand the main difference. So the um, Emco Beauty one is this one here. And it's just a little bit more peachy. And then the Charlotte Tilbury one is a little bit more pink. And then the other difference is they both dry down. But I do find the Charlotte one is a little bit more instant in its drying down. Whereas the Emco Beauty one takes a minute to dry down. So there is a slight difference there in colour. But the end result is pretty similar. This really comes down to color, if there is a preference in color. 
But if you don't mind the slight difference, there is a lot of savings in the MCO Beauty one. The next two that I have, it's all the wands. <laughs> I have a lot of the wands. The Beauty Light wand from Charlotte Tilbury and then the Highlight and Glow Beauty wand from MCO Beauty. So these are the same shade. We have from Charlotte Tilbury the shade Spotlight and then from MCO Beauty we have uh, Champagne Glow. So these are super similar. So we have Charlotte Tilbury and then MCO Beauty. The main difference is I feel like the MCO Beauty one is a little bit more pink and the Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit more golden. And then I have noticed in the times that I've worn it is same with the, the blushes. The Charlotte Tilbury highlighter dries down fast, almost too fast for me to blend out. And that's why I actually prefer the MCO Beauty one because it gives you enough time to blend it out and then dry down. I do love the shade of this one. I love the shade of both of them and the formula of them are absolutely stunning. Ever so slight tint difference and the Charlotte Tilbury dries down a lot faster. So if that's an issue for you, I recommend the, the MCO Beauty one in Champagne Glow. It's absolutely stunning. Next we have the lip liners. Which one's which? Quick. <laughs> so I have the Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk. I've had this one for a really long time. It's actually my project pan and I love it. I use it every day. And then I also have the Emco Beauty Perfect Pout Lip Liner in Cheeky Chat, which is a play on words for Pillow Talk. So here we have Charlotte Tilbury and then here we have Emco Beauty. You can't really tell a difference, but if I had to be super picky, the Charlotte Tilbury is ever so slightly warmer. Ever so slightly. It's so minimal. Um, and then the other main difference I find is the Charlotte Tilbury is slightly creamier to apply. However, it doesn't change the long-term effect of them. So they both have a really nice long wear factor to them. But on that application, the Charlotte Tilbury is ever so slightly creamier. And I think that's why they're so popular is because they go on creamy and then dry down. The Emco Beauty is very easy to apply, but it's not as creamy, but it is still long wear. So they're both, they're, they're, it's still a really good dupe. But if I had to be super nitpicky, those are the two differences is the Charlotte is ever so slightly warm pinkier and the Emco Beauty is more neutral pink and then the dry down or the application is creamy versus not creamy. Next is the Emco Beauty Extend Lash. This is the product that put them on the map. This is a tubing mascara. I have the black one, but I also have, and it's the one I'm wearing today, is the black brown. I love the black brown formula because I have blue eyes and I just suit brown tones. I like it, it's not as harsh. It's not a huge difference because it is a black brown. However, the Extend Lash became really popular because it is tubing so it doesn't smudge or flake. And it's true to that, it really doesn't. Um, but it's also easy to remove. It was one of the first, in Australia, one of the first tubing mascaras that was affordable. So this is a dupe for the Kevin Aquan Volume Mascara, which goes for like $50. So in comparison, this is just as good. The wand has that same really thin, easy to apply wand like the Kevin Aquan one. Uh, nowadays you can get lots of tubing mascaras at a cheaper or a more affordable price. But back when this came out, it was the first of its kind. Uh, and it was back in the day when no one knew what a tubing mascara is. Everyone knows what it is now. So that's what kind of made Emco Beauty catapult into the beauty world and be able to then just stampede with all these duping products. But this was like the OG duping product that they had. And I have used the Kevin Aquan and I find them to be pretty similar. It's a really nice um, natural but lengthening mascara. That's what I like about it. Next is the Emco Beauty Flawless, Miracle Flawless Pressed Powder. So this is a dupe for their, their pressed powders. Now I have the translucent one. And I will 100% admit I haven't used the Charlotte Tilbury one. I have used their bronzer, which is like one of my favorite bronzers, the matte bronzer. I feel like Emco Beauty has got to dupe those matte bronzers because they're 10 out of 10 formula. So I have the translucent one. I don't have the tinted ones, but needless to say, I haven't actually used the Charlotte Tilbury ones. 
but I'm mentioning this one because it is such a good powder. This is high quality powder. I am wearing it today. I get really oily. It instantly mattifies, but it's not heavy and caking. And for pressed powder, that's pretty rare for me. I find a lot of pressed powders go cakey very easily because it's easy to pick up too much product. This one, it's just stunning. I love it. I think it has that luxury feel to it like the Charlotte Tilbury. It really has that similar quality in terms of packaging. But inside the packaging, the actual product is really high quality. I definitely recommend it and I absolutely love this powder. And then lastly, we have two lip products. So we have the NARS lip balms. What are they called? Afterglow lip balm. I have the shade First Lane, uh, which is their really nice kind of plummy lip balm. And so these here are like a nice sheer tint. And it's not a lip gloss, so it's not overly glossy, but it's still a nice healthy glow without it being like sticky. So the NARS formula is stunning. I've actually had the Laguna one that I finished in a project pan, um, and I now have the Fast Lane, and I love it. Well, MK Beauty came out with the same ones, and they actually sent me all of them. I think I gave away one, and I kept three. So the colors are not the, exactly the same. But here's Bella Vita, which is going to be a Dolce Vita dupe. So you can see how similar they are. If I had to make a difference or a comparison, I think these are a little bit shinier, um, and these are a little bit more natural finish. So I think they have the same level of tint, but you can even see that this ever so slightly glossier but neither of them is sticky they're very comfortable to wear they both have that magnetic closure and you know how the NARS ones have NARS around it this one literally has MCO around it like <laughs> very similar very similar product and then lastly we have the lipsticks how could I not you literally wouldn't be able to tell which one's Charlotte and which one's MCO Beauty this one's Charlotte, this one's Emco Beauty. So I don't have dupe colors, I only have what I have because there's a lot of the lipsticks. But in the Charlotte Tilbury, I have Kim KW, which is a very popular shade. And these are like creamy, but they're not glossy and they're not matte. They're very much just a cream finish. So that, I think that's what's really made them popular. That Kim KW is a lovely shade. And then I have Very Shelly, which I think is supposed to be the very Victoria shade from. Charlotte Tilbury. The Charlotte Tilbury Very Victoria is a matte, isn't it? And the Pillow Talk is a matte, or is it a creamy matte? I'll have to look that one up. Otherwise, I think the Emco Beauty formula of their lipsticks is really high quality. If you feel like you're missing out on the Charlotte Tilbury because you, you don't want to spend that money or you can't spend that money, the Emco Beauty ones are extremely similar in formula and you still get that luxe experience like you feel like you're putting on a charlotte tilbury lipstick it's crazy anyway that is everything my arms are swatched i forgot to bring a wipe <laughs> that is everything there's definitely more i feel like i need to go to woolies because i think they're about to have a 50 percent off so i feel like i need to get more I really want to get the, I wasn't going to, but I think I want to get one of the body sprays. They've, they've duped the Sol de Janeiro body sprays for 20 bucks. And if they go on sale for 50% off, I saw them in store today. I could get one for 10 bucks. I'm very tempted. I'm very tempted. But they haven't duped my favorite one, which is the new 59, the purple one. That's my favorite. If they bring that out, I'll 100% buy that. Anyway, if there's any other products that you would love for me to review or compare with their original products, I might have them. Like I do have the De Bronzy Drops. I didn't put that in this video, but I do have the De Bronzy Drops um, and the Emco Beauty De Bronzy Drops. So there are other products that I do have, but these are the ones that I really wanted to mention today as really good, high quality dupes that I do think is worth every penny so if you did like this video i'd really appreciate a thumbs up and if you are new here if you're from the us of a hit the subscribe button i would love to have you around and i will see you in my next video bye